Well, hello everybody. So today uh, we are going to change the AC radiator and also the um, AC valve on the compressor of this Volkswagen to run. I already taken everything apart and I'm sorry I didn't film uh, from the beginning, but now uh, we have everything demounted and uh, we are waiting for the parts to arrive. As you can see, we removed the valve from the compressor and uh, this is what we are going to change. We had a strange thing on the pressure gauges so the suction was four bars and uh, the high pressure never went over 12 bars whatever we could do and um, the unit was not the unit the car was not cooling so the AC was not working so this is the valve that we demounted you can also see the um, radiator on the left uh, this was okay but uh, it's already 11 years old and on the front of it uh, there were some marks and uh, the airflow was not uh, really good anymore so we decided to change uh, this also okay so here we have the valve already mounted and um, take uh, really good care for this um, this uh, ring clip to fit correctly into the grooves and um, this way it will hold the valve in place now we will mount the radiator don't forget to lubricate the o-rings now this radiator came with o-rings so i changed them but if the old one remains check them to be okay so this is the low pressure mounted already and uh, it's a little bit difficult to put everything together uh, especially alone so after uh, fixing the low pressure pipe now uh, I'm fixing the high pressure one now we have both of them fixed and uh, it's time to put back the radiator which is mounted in front of the intercooler radiator first before putting everything back to the car we will do a pressure test a short one and we will just use soap water to see if um, we can see any bubbles on the on the places that we have worked i already done a full pressure test before uh, taking anything off the car so i know that uh, refrigerant is not leaking anywhere so this would be easy to see to check the places that we worked on before the whole system again so it looks everything is okay i'm doing this at about 17 bars so it's okay for now and uh, we can mount everything back on the car This is the first piece that holds the, all the radiators together and um, it's made of plastic and this piece itself is held by this uh, metal part in front of it. You can uh, place this metal part by uh, taking care that uh, you use the old markings which can be seen from the dust and dirt so put everything exactly back uh, to the position it was before taking it down and you basically screw everything together so it's uh, not that hard with a little bit of uh, patience uh, you can do it yeah I forgot to put these two plastic things so I had to do it after but if you're putting it back you you can do it before putting the metal part this is where I forgot a cable from the front sensor and um, 
I warn you, don't put the uh, the bumper before the headlights. So you should put the headlights in before the bumper, because uh, I don't know why I did it like this, and uh, I had to open, I had to take down the the bumper again. Well, not fully, but from each side, from the wheel arch, I had to take down everything, and that was it. So this is the final pressure test. Uh, about 22 bars and I leave it like this for I don't know I cannot estimate the time but usually around the half an hour and if the pressure doesn't drop in the system then uh, we we can say that everything is tight and uh, we can uh, go ahead to the next step So, like I said, before putting the bumper, put the headlights in first. You can see that uh, it's a little bit hard when you cannot lift the car or you cannot get under it, but yeah i mean it's it's not it's fairly easy so but you have to be on the ground most of the time so i have one of those things on wheels which is very comfortable but um, it sits a few centimeters off the ground and you cannot get under a car like this so this is when you see me realizing that the headlight is not going in yeah well i'm not proud of this but <laughs> anyway i uh, did it finally i had to take down the 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 screws from the front arch as you can see on the other side Had to make some space for the headlight, and yeah, this this is this is okay. Now it goes in, but just to avoid working two times, I uh, like I said, put the headlights in first. Okay, so uh, if this is done, we can release the nitrogen from the system and we can start uh, vacuuming the, the circuit. And you can see, if we, as we start the pump, both uh, pressures go into the negative side. Yeah, it's about half an hour process. And now we can get ready to charge the system after this. We can fill it with a little bit of oil. I'll put 50 milliliters of oil just because I changed the condenser. And uh, yeah, 500 grams or something like that for this car of refrigerant. And now uh, we can start the car, check the pressures and uh, see if everything is okay. So as you can see, now we have uh, 14 bars, the car is at about 2000 RPMs and the low pressure side is below 2, so everything is working fine. Before, before we change the valve, we cannot get this pressure on the low side, it was somewhere about 4 bars and uh, the unit was not cooling, so it was not climbing over uh, 12 bars on the high and it was not... Uh, cooling just a little bit so it is time to check the headlights um, if everything is working correctly and uh, that's about it so thank you guys for watching have a nice day take care don't forget to like and subscribe well see you next time okay bye bye